Okay, interview with Gary Setchell after Bedford Town 2, Aylesbury United 1. The chance of sacked in the morning are ringing out, but that, of course, won't be the case, Gary, because we have achieved promotion. Yep. What a wonderful day for the club. Another yep. win, unbeaten. Where do you just start with that? I don't know, really. That was like, obviously, after last week when we won the league, that was a little bit. You know, we didn't know that was only five minutes ago and there was euphoria and today was a little bit different because we knew that was done and we've had a we've had a tough week, haven't we? You know, we beat Dunstable, had a great night, had to go to St Neitz on Monday, which was tough. You know, on a hot day on that pitch against St Neitz is tough. Um, then we had to then we found out Tuesday afternoon that we've got to go to Kidlington. We went there, we stayed unbeaten, that was tough. <coughs> And with the injuries we've picked up, we only really had 11, 12 fit players today. So the lads who played today got to play Tuesday, more or less. Um, and that's going to be tough. But, you know, the boys just keep going to the well, don't they? They keep going, they keep going. They give everything they've got, as they have done all season. They've done that better than all the other teams. Um, I think we won the league by 10 points in the end, which I think is probably, in my eyes, is about right. I think we've been the best team by that much. Um, and you know all the best of the teams in the playoffs I think Burko like I said last week should go up because they've they're finished long way second but I've just got a sneaky feeling for where possibly possibly Dunstable um, with, with BJ being back but you know this is about us and our day um, and you know what you couldn't, you couldn't write it could you 100, 100 goals Rennie winning the golden boot with his base today, fully deserved. Um, he's been great for a lot of the season. You know, he's had a dip. Obviously, he's not getting any younger, so he's played a lot of games. But, you know, in the big games when we needed him, he turned it up, especially Mark Lee Burkett here. So, well done to him for winning the golden boot. And that's just been a great season, isn't it? You know, best team, golden boot winner, most goals. The, the list is endless on what we've achieved this year, 23, 24 unbeaten at the end of the season. That was unfair on the rest, really, because obviously we was relentless on that period. And the key, the key moment for me was January. We had wear away Burke at home within the space of two weeks. We won both the games, and we had a soft February and a soft early March, really, until um, we played North Lee. So that was always going to be tough for the rest of them. Absolutely. And focusing on this week, you've mentioned there about the three tough games and um, you know if people from afar will look after the Lord and they show people from afar will look oh uh, they just switched off you know sandals on beach wear etc etc that wasn't the case it really was that we were just tired and, and you know it all came to a head didn't it with injuries etc etc yeah but the, I think the lads still ate worked um, I was we today I, I, I genuinely but even though we was tired and, that, and all, all the players are coming and said how tired they are but what, what can I do you know I ain't to stop going out and enjoying tonight you know the, the, the main goal has been achieved and been achieved well. Um, we've got a cup final Tuesday, which we want to win. But that 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 weren't the goal. when I, when I was employed by the football club, winning the Bed Senior Cup weren't the be all and end all. But when them players crossed the white line on Tuesday night, Leighton are in for a very tough game. As are we, you know. Birchie's there. That'd be great for him to kick his um, managerial stint there with a with a Bed Senior Cup. That'd be huge for them. We're expected to win. Um, which makes it always makes it tough because then the cup finals and semi finals and playoff games and what have you can always be scrappy affairs. But we'll go there, we'll patch the boys up, we'll give it our best shot. And you know, if we win, we win. And if we don't, we've still had a great season. Exactly. And obviously, back to the Erie next Saturday for the oh, yeah. Parkway win the, uh, the Southern League Championship game. Again, yeah. nothing to play for it, but at the same time, want to win a trophy. Oh, well, what a win! We're at home. Um, you know, they're obviously a great team to win their, their division, as are we. Um, but, that, that, you know, look, let's just enjoy tonight. You know, let's, let's enjoy tonight, which we will, with a great, great presentation at the end of the Just seeing, you know, a lot, lot, a lot of young players in that squad. You know, just seeing their faces at the end. They'll try, you know, I've been there before. I've won leagues as a player and a manager. I just, like, took a little few moments back just to look at all the young lads. You know, your Sean's, your Zach's, your Who's, your Connors, your Drew's, your DS's. And people like that, and just you know, try to look at them enjoying it, and and taking it all in really. So I don't get as carried away as what I used to. So I'll probably be in bed tonight by eleven, twelve o'clock. I won't be staying out for two or three days. But you know, it's just been 
you know, being having that bit of experience where I've been here before, I think I stood myself and the squad in, in good stead this year. And, you know, you can't buy that bit of experience. Same as the right experienced players, your Rennies, your Callums, your Rory's, your Pids. And, and people like that, you just can't buy that. And, you know, they've really helped the young lads through at the critical times, as the young lads have helped them with a lot of their running. And fought back well today as well. From yeah, well, 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 I'd be surprised if any team, I'd be surprised if any team has probably won more points from going behind this year. Um, you know, that's another characteristic. We've done that very well. Well, and we're here today, you know, um, Hartford, Biggles Wade early on. We've probably made 25, 30 points from losing positions this year. Absolutely. We'll leave the last thing to this little man coming between Seth and I. Superb new supporter this year. You enjoyed yourself? Yeah, a lot. And what's been the best part of Gary's team? Gary. He ran his bicycle kick, Gary. to be honest. Gary. Not Gary. Gary's the best part of this team. <laughs> so, Bed Senior Cup final on Tuesday, yes? Yep. And then back here at the Erie for the visit of Plymouth Parkway in the Southern League. Division yep. 1 Central. Get your tickets now. What's the website? He'll know by next year. BedfordEagles.net. See you here next week, guys.